Oh yeah, that's it. Turn me up in the headphones. I walked into the party like a flamingo on a yacht. Looking for a big, dumb, rich guy to take everything he's got. You had one eye thinking about mommy, and then you smelled me walk by, and all your family said, Don't flip and trust her, don't flip and trust her, and my big vein. My head is the size of a mountain, my big vein. I bet you regret that I found you, don't you? All right, what's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? First of all, let me say this. Hello, Gavna. Hello, my son. Folks, there are people that are professional bullshitaki individuals in this world and you want to talk about some gaslighting backbiting and buffalo riding listen to this it's out of deadline of all the things to boot it's like there's evidence to prove all this it's it's like it, and it's their own stupid evidence they're dumb they're really dumb they're really dumb listen to this charcoal markle's remarks about an orchestrated reality show engagement interview baffled the bbc presenter michelle Hussan. So the BBC presenter who conducted the engagement interview, which was probably their idea to introduce everybody to the world, the, 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 to their love to the world, their truth, she said she was left perplexed as the Duchess of Sussex described it as an orchestrated reality show. Well, yeah, it was orchestrated by numbnuts herself. Michal, one of BBC's most respected news anchors, said she was unsure of what to make of Sharko Markle's remarks. Also, in this same interview, this one right here, I'm going to show you a little clip of this, and I'm going to show you a little clip of another one. She goes like this. She goes, you know, I was doing suits, and uh, we got to like the 100th episode, and I was like, you know what? I've, I've, I, I need to... I need to close the chapter, or whatever she says, something, you know, something totally lame like that. It's like, lady, they wrote you off of the show. You were out of work. Please. Your uh, love interest went to jail for crying out loud, and you were going nowhere, allegedly. They wrote your ass out of the show, okay? Okay. Anyway, and it was like, oh, it was like a huge loss to the show. They did a whole nother season without you. No problemo. I did, didn't miss a beat. You know, I just thought, you know, it was a hundred episodes and I just thought, you know what? That's enough for me. I need to move on to bigger and better things. What, you know what? I'm a D level mattress actress, allegedly. And it's just like, I don't know. There's gotta be something out there that is just like, I don't know what's worse than what I'm doing. Anyways, get down here. Let's Okay. This is what I want to show you. So this whole thing is going on right now, right? Let's look, we'll just watch it. Just watch a tinge of this real quick, okay? By the way, look. First of all, she is fawning all over him. She's so spastic. This woman, I'm telling you, I don't know. I her and her mom. You want to talk about the 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 rotten tomato doesn't fall fall far from the the vine of the tomato tree. She is all over him like a cheap suit. Got the double double jujitsu lock right here on him. And he's like, oh, he's so dumb. He has no idea what, what's happening. Meanwhile, she's every 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 moment, every fart. He, she, she's like looking at him, like, is this what's is this is this good, honey? Oh my god, is this? I'm just a babe in the woods. I don't know what to say. I just need a big strong man to just tell me. Oh my god. Now she's just like jumping in front of him every move she makes, every time, every chance she gets. She's leading the way. She's guiding him like a like a pot. I mean, it's ridiculous. We talk about a uh, 180, as they say. Let, here's a clip. Your Royal Highness Meghan Markle, congrats. Your Royal Highness and um, uh, this one, whatever your name is. Congratulations to you both. Thank you. Can we start? With oh my god! Oh my god! Proposal and the actual moment of your engagement. When did it happen? How did it happen? 
Uh, it happened uh, a few weeks ago. Mm. Um, Look at that breath. She takes a breath because she's like, he's going to screw this up. Only this month. You know what? Just check this. Hang on. Just look at the way she's, she stares at him. And the actual moment of your engagement. Look when how she stands over. Watch this. Okay. She puts her arm up like, okay, you're on. Come on. We rehearsed this at the, uh, at the, uh, at the cottage. Come on. Let's go. Let's see what you've got. Uh, it happened. And then she's doing the, the, the grippy face. What's it called? Jaw lock. And, uh, a few weeks ago. and she's taking the deep breath and she's like, oh my God, he's going to screw up the lines right here. Oh, he's so stupid. Jeez Louise. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh-huh. mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, early this month here. Uh, here. Uh, here. Uh, you know, here. Uh, 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 you know, uh, where I live. Uh, over there. Oh, the, uh, yeah, over here. At our cottage. And she's um, looking. It's a standard, typical night. Oh my god, you know, it was just so standard, you know, we were just... It's a cozy night, it was, what were we doing, just roasting chicken and... What were we doing? What were we doing? The lady has it documented, I'm gonna show you in two seconds, she's documenting it. What were we doing? She's videotaping it, and she's on the phone with somebody else, witness, while she's videotaping it, and she's asking him, what she, what were we doing? Uh, you know what? Okay, let, let me finish this, and I'm going to put a bow on this whole thing. I'm I'm chicken, <laughs> trying to roast a chicken. <laughs> trying to roast a chicken. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what's so funny? Oh, my God. Have you ever... <laughs> Have you ever roasted a chicken? It's, it's the f- what is so, what is so freaking funny about cooking? Nothing, okay? Nothing, not a damn thing. And, and it was just, uh, just an amazing surprise. It was so. Oh my god, the, it, it was amazing. We we put the stove on three fifty, and guess what? It it's it it. it beeps at 350 and it lets you know that it's at 350 it's it was amazing it was so sweet and and natural and and natural and i was just videotaping and on the phone and documenting the whole thing and i had contracts and a lawyer sitting there <laughs> and a video crew and a, i had h mic'd up and also i had um you know just just you know just just some just maybe allegedly possibly some you know possible blackmail stuff that i could use against him if he didn't do it you know what i mean just i mean hypothetically you know allegedly <laughs> we're just splitting hairs there i mean come out <laughs> very romantic he got it was so romantic Not on one knee <laughs> of course. was it an instant yes from you yes as a matter of fact i could barely let you finish proposing i was yeah. like can i say yes now she didn't even let me finish she said, can i say yes can i say yes now and then, then there was hugs and i had the ring in my finger and can i say yes now do you believe this this yacht hen first of all you guys are at your place what's the what's the can i I'm not, he's like Megzi, I need to. She's like, yes, 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 yes. Uh, no, Megzi, I just want to ask you. Uh, did you want dessert tonight, or or do you want? Uh, Cause I, 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 um, I, I ate, I ate the Hagen Dazs while you were out earlier. Yes, yes, H, yes, Megzi, yes, what? I, I don't, even, I didn't even ask you anything. I was like, can I, can I give you the ring? She goes, oh yes, the ring. <laughs> so no, it was, um, it was a really nice moment. It was just the two of us, and um, I think I managed to catch, catch her by surprise as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. Big surprise. Watch this. All right, this is uh, Num Nuts's and, and Tweedledee's documentary here. Ready for this? Ready for this? Put your boots on, folks. I did pop a bottle of champagne while she was roasting a chicken, and that kind of slightly gave the game away. She goes, you never drink champagne. What's the occasion? I was like, oh, no, I just had it lying around you, whatever. They, they don't drink champagne? What? what? They met drinking. It was a magnum. <laughs> <laughs> It was a magnum, <laughs> but uh, you know, I I do like two or three of those a day. So, <laughs> look at this condescending. Th- now look at her. She doesn't have a hand on him. She's not touching him. She could care less. She's like, <laughs> I've got. I'm married. I could. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I had a magnum before we did this interview, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> she's st- 
still giddling. Did I say giddling? Giddying. Wasn't that I knew she'd say yes, but she'd already moved Guy over. I, I, I had no idea she was... Oh, oh, Bugsy. Oh, Bugsy. I had no idea she was going to say yes. Let's see. Uh, she had no job, nowhere to go, and uh, sold all her shit, got out of her place, and was living with me, and the dog was living in the house. Uh, hmm. I don't know, detective. How'd you crack that case? <laughs> wow. He's really stupid. Yeah, she had all her, uh, she had, she brought all her shit over and her dog and sold all her place and told me that I was uh, financially and fiscally responsible for her. So I didn't know if she was going to say yes, but uh, I was kind of hoping. So I had Guy as a hostage. By the way, she sold her car and uh, cleaned out all her bank accounts. My dog, yeah. My dog, my dog that has two broken uh, legs for some reason. Um, and he was in stilts, so he couldn't run away. Stilts. Uh, I don't think the dog, I don't think H knows what stilts are. Stilts are something that like a clown wear, uh, uses at a uh, circus or a, a, an acrobat performer or a Cirque du Soleil. Uh, I don't think Guy's doing any performing on stilts. I think he's in casts, I think is what you mean to say. Stupid. In the middle of the world, God. All this whole documentary is just nothing but this bullshit. Like, what are we doing here? What is the? Uh, this is, is nothing. This is just filler. Filler bullshit. Being overlooked by the staff flats. I got 15 of those electric candles. Oh my god. You want to talk about a sexy, romantic ladies, man? Guys, if any guys are listening right now and you want to razzle dazzle the shit, you want to, you want, I'm telling you, you want to. You want to be the guy that's known as the panty dropper? Electric candles. All day long. Women love that shit. Oh my god, so hot. Electric candles. That's so hot. Electric. Real romantic. Uh, uh I got Christmas tree lots. Uh, I had them in the garage. Uh, yeah, they were, uh, they're not mine. Uh, but technically, I, I just kind of bought them and I, I threw them on the, on the ground. Hopefully she locked them. I, I didn't know. There were all kinds of different colors. It really didn't make sense. Oh my God, Jess, Jess, Jess. She's on the phone to a friend, Jess, while either the phone is recording her, so she's FaceTiming the lady and the lady's recording her, or she has an extra camera that's recording her while she's on the phone with this person, Jess, if you can gather this, okay? She was shocked. It was, it was going to happen. She was so surprised. Jess, Jess. Oh, you know what, honey? Spaz down. You're 36. You've already been married and you've lived with like 27 guys. Like ease up on the spazzing out here. Like you're... Oh my God. He told me not to peek. He told me not to peek and here I am peeking. What position were you in? What position were you in? Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, when you're having a roasted chicken, uh... H, she, H, A, H. She doesn't mean that position. Oh, Bugsy, thank you. Thank you. Almost. Oh, whew, whew, that was a close one. I almost, I almost gave up the goods on that. <laughs> you almost got me on that one. <laughs> you, you, guys are, you guys are good. You guys are real good. Uh, downward dog. He was in downward dog, for Christ's sakes. Roasted chicken all day long. Clever. See, he's funny. See, he's funny. He tells one joke out of six episodes. <laughs> he's funny. <laughs> that was the only time she touched him, and it was for probably three seconds. So that was nice. Oh, Look at this shithole. Jesus Christ. This is a guy that has a... He lives behind a palace. 15. Why, why 15, by the way? Why 15 electric candles in this blanket? Good grief, man. I go down one. He's got the dog. He's holding the dog hostage. Like, Bugsy, I'm telling you what, if you don't say yes, it's a possibility that God could have another another broke leg beagle. We could have another, he could have another broke leg. That's all I'm going to say. You better say yes. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not saying I would, but I'm, I'm saying, it, you know, he's got two broke legs right now. It could be three if you don't say yes. Please, Bugsy. Of course I did. 
face down on one knee and I was just like, yes, you're so joyful and excited. It's like, ugh, oh, we're doing this. We're doing this. <laughs> Bitch, please. Like this wasn't the whole setup. Like this wasn't the whole scam the whole time. Meanwhile, this is the this is the bow I wanted to wrap this whole shindigalero up on. First of all, that just tells you that from the absolute beginning of this whole charade, this whole grift, it's all been built on a house of bull shiitake. There, I, I honestly, I do not believe a word that comes out of either one of their mouths about anything allegedly let me know your thoughts hope you guys are all doing great hope you're having a wonderful day y'all be good all right take care of yourself loves you baby you're beautiful